A day at the cemetery is not exactly a destination trip for there. a lot of families, but the Heckbers are spending most of their summer at one. And they're uh, dist uh, restoring a decayed and forgotten burial ground in Ossian with the hopes of bringing them back to their former glory out in 21 country. It's been forgotten. It's been a sore sight. As people find out that I'm doing this, they'll, they'll talk to me and they say, Larry, I didn't even know there was a cemetery there. And I've lived here my entire life. Back in 1846, Ossian was uh, founded. And in 1847, the township trustees said that the town of Ossian needed a burial plot. There's no record that anybody ever paid to, to bury anybody here. Uh, there's no record that anybody even oversaw it. This, this list here is people who are buried here. About 10 years ago, I start, got involved in uh, ancestry and I found out that I had a great-great-grandmother buried here and actually didn't even know that she existed, didn't know who she was. And I started walking through here. I wanted to try to find her grave and I saw how bad it was. So uh, I thought, well, we'll never find her grave here. It's just tricky. I'll look down a lot to see what's underneath me. You know, I don't want to break anything that's, you know, not broken. <laughs> You know, uh, it was really neat, you know, last week when we found my great, great, great grandmother's grave, you know, her tombstone. So it's just, it's just family's important and it just, you know, it's what you do. And I've got um, three brothers that have been helping with the project. Two of my daughters have, are grant, have do grant writing. And um, I've got a number of uh, nephews and great nephews that have been helping with the project also. We've got, uh, probably 40 volunteers that have helped on different portions of it. And we've uh, put in over 500 hours. I mean, it's your history, it's my history, it's, you know, the town's history. You know, these people deserve the respect that, you know, we want when we die too. And, you know, it's been neglected for so long. It's just nice that it's getting taken care of. It's been, it's been forgotten. And uh, it's, it's time that it needs to have attention and be brought up to the standards that it should be. I'm going to have a big tombstone made at the end with everybody that's buried here's name on there. And then also probably a separate tombstone with the Civil War veterans that are buried here. There's 13 Civil War veterans here, and we want to give them the honor that they're due. A lot of work they're doing out there. The Heckber family hopes to finish cleaning up the cemetery in the next few weeks. Their time, labor, and equipment have all been by donation. Next summer, they'll have a company repair the broken tombstones, though they'll need about $100,000 to make it possible. If you'd like to help in that, you can find information on how to donate, as well as a list of who's buried there on our website, WPTA21.com. We should say that was our producer, Daniel Beals, putting that story together for us. Coming up